one just went off. Nah, ah. Look at what Cheeky made. I'm gonna get it out of the oven. It's my first sourdough loaf of bread. So good morning you guys, um, or I guess good early afternoon. Um, so I went out this morning and oh, right, um, isn't that the most exciting thing about the sourdough bread? Um, I, like I said, I've never done it before and that was me and Cheeky's first experience and our first loaf and I'm just stoked that it went well. So. Um, the thing that you guys all want to know about is the little man and um, I am headed out now it's warmed up some it's it's only 37 degrees still so um, burr but I came out this morning early this morning and fed everybody and watered everybody and um, said good morning to him he had bedded down in that big pile of hay and was just happy as a clam in there and when I went out there the um, fear was replaced with just a little bit of cautiousness um, and uh, he came up to me, he let me love on him, he wiggled his tail while I scratched his head and so now that it's warmed up a little bit, I am headed out to the barn to get um, to get supplies and get his pen built so that we can get him out of that trailer and into his new stall. Now, of course, uh, he needs to be, I'm looking for all the stuff that I want here. Hazy Hops, get out of there. No, sir. Straight to the litter box is not okay. Um, children. So I'm out here to get the things that I need. I know I need the pulse toe digger, but I'm going to grab that last. Um, and I need some fencing supplies. I'm going to grab me some needle nose pliers and I'm going to grab me some wire. And my favorite things in the whole wide world, not um, T-post clips. So I am going to get this all loaded up on my trusty four-wheeler. And oh, I already had needle nose on the four-wheeler and head out there. This is the space that we're going to put him. Um, I'm going to get this clean, this area cleaned up, and we're just going to set up a temporary pin. He needs to be quarantined away from my girls since I got him from a stockyard. I don't know anything about his history. Uh, we need to quarantine him. So he's going to get his own stall over here. And so I'm going to get this area cleaned up and run the magnet over it get some panels up and uh, get some bedding and then get him in.
this is why it is so important to have one of these. This is a rolling magnet. Okay, as you can see, I have completed the folding pins and this will be good quarantine for him, uh, from my animals. They're over there. He'll be over here. He'll be able to see them. He'll be able to be a part of the barn, but he'll be quarantined. And that's important to do when you bring animals home from the livestock. But without further ado, I'm gonna get this trailer backed up and let's get this boy into his new home. Uh, as usual, enjoy the show. He's home. Let me get him all set up. He gets to meet everybody.
There's our little dude. Got his hay. Fresh bucket of water. I'll take that sticker off. As soon as he comes over and says hi. Hey little man. Hey. Hey. How are ya? Huh? What do you think of all those dogs? Huh? What do you think of all those dogs? Huh? They're very excited to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Can you take your sticker off? Sorry. I know. It's the best way to do it. Just rip the band-aid off. You're not an auction boy anymore. You're a homestead boy. Yeah. You got three beautiful girls over there just waiting for you to grow up. Yeah. That's your sticker. Huh? So he doesn't have a name yet, but he will. Soon enough, we'll come back and check on him. test. Yummy. So there's our little man, and Hims doesn't have a name yet. Um, and he probably won't be able to service the girls until spring, is my guess. Um, but he's here and he's home and we got him settled in and I will continue to check on him uh, throughout the rest of the afternoon and of course into the evening, make sure that I've locked both gates. Um, on the barn so that if for whatever reason if he does get out of his pen then uh, he's locked in the barn and ideally of course I don't want him to get out of his pen so I built it uh, with the intention of him not getting out um, and hopefully he will settle in 
I may or may not think about getting a weather goat to hang out with him. Uh, and I just don't, I don't think I'm ready for goats yet, but it would be nice for him to have company. Oh, that thing is so heavy. I really didn't want to pick it up today, but you know how that goes. Um, so, uh, you know, we'll see how he does. We'll see if he settles in and see if he, you know, just ends up being fine uh, without any company. But uh, thanks for coming along with my little uh, temporary stall building exercise today. I hope you all had a lovely Sunday afternoon and I will catch you on the next one. Yours truly.